While you may be thinking, let's turn this completely the other direction and live in the light, we have to address another debilitating behavior. Guess what? We see it everywhere these days. Toxic mm -hmm. positivity. Mm -hmm. It's an oxymoron. Positivity, oh, that's a great thing. Toxic, right. that's a bad thing. Right. So right. you combine the two. So let's, let's dive in here. What, what, what are we talking about, Doc? It's the refusal to acknowledge that it is okay to not be okay. Everything doesn't have to be sunshine and rainbows and puppy dogs, right? It's okay to be able to say, you know what? Life is okay, but today, it's not a good day for me. So toxic positivity is when somebody always puts a positive spin on whatever. No matter you have what going it is. On. Right. No matter what well, it could be worse. You could be dead. You could be broke. You could be homeless. Like, right? No matter what, there's always a positive tale at the end. Which isn't healthy. I mean, you've no. you've talked about it so many no. times on the show that if there's something going on yeah. inside you, you you need to address it no. and you need to properly process it, whether it's right. grieving, if you right. need to be sad, if you need to be reflective, yep. it's part of the process right. of maintaining good mental health. Right, the toxic positivity, it's a, it's a con perpetual state of denial because you can't acknowledge that life today has a bump in the road, a hurdle you need to cross, and it's okay, we've crossed them before, we can cross it again. It is the ultimate when it comes to invalidation. Uh, and isn't it true that if you're, if you have some sort of pain mm -hmm. that you should process and you don't, and you file it away, you put it on the back shelf inside your body, mm -hmm. that that's gonna come back to haunt you in a way that, that may require a lot of good old couch time with you. You've seen it, I've seen it. It comes out in ways you can't control and it comes out in behaviors that you didn't see coming, right? And so it comes from a good place, the, the toxic positivity, because they're trying to be compassionate. They're trying to show you some consideration, but the thing about compassion is true compassion says, I can walk into this dark room where my friend is hurting and I can sit down and hold their hand in the dark and not feel compelled to have to turn on the light knowing that the darkness is not going to consume either one of us. We've got to take a minute I love to it. sit with that. Yeah. So, Dr. Ish, when pain isn't acknowledged or it's blown off, what, what kind of damage, I, you know, I asked you, mm -hmm. can cause it, so yeah. what kind of damage right. typically can, can you see? Right. Well, it helps me feel small. It helps me feel insignificant. Right? It invalidates me. It's just one more thing on that evidence list of why I'm not good enough. Right. Well, I, I told Doc, I, you know, I, I got some crow's feet, Doc, and he said he didn't see anything, but so, right? And so, and it's almost in its extreme form as a sense of gaslighting, right? Am I crazy or is life really not that bad? And so you really, you know, again, it's coming from a place of compassion. The thing we hate to do here in America is we hate to take that moment and sit alone with our thoughts because we're not sure if they're going to scare us to death. So how do we deal with uh, toxic mm -hmm. positivity? How do we... Yeah. Abet it, and how do we deflect it if it's thrown at us? Yeah, so accept it in the spirit in which it was given. Hey, you know what? I really appreciate I didn't even think about it like that, Doc. You know, I didn't think about the fact that, you know, because I stubbed my toe, it could have been worse because I could have had my leg chopped. I didn't <laughs> think about that, right? That's a great point. But I'm not there yet because my toe is still hurting, right? And so I'm going to just sit and think about that hurt toe for a little while, and I'm going to touch my little piggies. But appreciate that and thank you. And then you can move on down the way because it's not meant in a harmful way. It's like, hey, I don't know how to help you here. I can just try to help move you to the solution because staying on the problem makes me uncomfortable and it may make me think about some things that aren't going great in my life. So I want to, people want to move to the fix instead of, as opposed to sitting in that dark. And the dark is okay because, right, it helps define the light. You are good at this stuff. <laughs> There's a lot to that psychiatry mm -hmm. gig, isn't there? <laughs> I'm just an amateur at that. All right, lots of great information.